All right, so here we've got an all new update on Samsung Notes application. This update seems to be huge and pretty exciting with some cool new features being added here. Uh, this came in yesterday, but I couldn't really get enough time to make a video on this update. So here I am today updating you guys about all the new features that we have received with this update. Now let's take a look at the change log and check out these features one by one. The first one says supports two page view on one screen horizontal flip Two page view on one screen and horizontal flip are supported in landscape mode. Horizontal flip is also supported in portrait mode. Now what we will do is, let's open Samsung Notes application on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra where I have already updated the app and on the right hand side you see Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus which has the previous version of the Note application. Now before we take a look at the first feature mentioned in the change log, let me show you something here. As you can see on the updated version, we have got a different layout of the note view here. This is the medium grid layout. Now let's tap on this three dot button on both these devices. Let me tap on view. As you can see on the older version, we just have grid list and simple list. On the newer version, we have got grid small. Let me just show you that. This is how it looks. Now let me tap on grid medium. Now grid large. So this is how the large one looks like. And uh, we have got list view, which was there. And we have got simple list view as well. So these are the four different views that we get with this new update. All right, now let me just show you the first feature which is mentioned in the change log. Let's open note here. Let's tap on three dot button on both these devices. As you can see again here, the layout of this menu is completely changed. On the updated note app, we have got this cool looking layout here. We have got page sorter, page template, page settings and then we have got all these options and uh, the favorites share and delete options are right here at the bottom whereas on the older version it looks pretty boring and outdated here now this page sorter and page template were available in the previous version as well let's tap on page settings here on this all new app as you can see we have got one more menu here on the top you see scroll direction vertical we have got an option for vertical and then we have got a horizontal scroll direction as well now when I tap on horizontal scroll direction, when I go back to the note, I can swipe the pages horizontally. As you can see, I got page number two, I can go to page number three, and I can go back to page number two and one. So horizontally, we will be able to swipe the pages here. Now again, let's go to page settings. When I tap on vertical, we will be able to scroll the pages vertically, which was available before as well. Apart from this, we also have background color options right here and adjust color in dark mode toggle is right here on this new menu. That is the first useful new feature which has been added with this update. Now let's go back to the change log. The second one says supports ballpoint pen pressure option, pencil darkness option. For the ballpoint pen, an on off option to turn on the pen pressure is provided. For the pencil, the pencil's darkness can be adjusted so you can write in a darker color according to your user settings. Now let's go to the note app again. Let's just tap on pen mode on both these devices. Let's tap on this particular pen over here on both the devices. As you can see here, there are two new options here. This is to turn on the pen pressure. So if you want to turn on the pen pressure, you can tap on this. And if you want to turn it off, you can tap on this. What this is going to do is when it is turned on, based on the pressure that you apply on the Yes Pen, the thickness of your writing will increase or decrease. Basically, it gives a realistic feel to writing. That is one. Now let's go to pencil option on both these devices. As you can see on the new update, we've got these two sliders here. The first slider is already there in the previous version as well. The second slider is for increasing or decreasing the pencil darkness. That is the second new feature that we have. Now let's go to the change log and see the third one. It says supports large screen. You can hide the icon area and title area so that you can write on a wider screen. Now let's open the note here. Let's tap on three dots. We have this all new option full screen. When you tap on this, you can see the icon area and title area are hidden here. This will increase the screen real estate for writing. So that is a real cool addition here, which you must check out. Now the last one is free movement of the toolbar. The toolbar can be moved to dock up, down, left and right. If I'm not wrong, this feature was already available. We can just press and hold on this toolbar. We will be able to move it around on the screen. So this was there on the previous version as well. I'm not sure if I'm missing something here. Do let me know if it is the same feature or is there anything else that I'm missing? Let me know in the comment section below, right? So these are the four new cool features which have been added with this all new update and this is worth 
trying out. So do go ahead, check the update on Galaxy Store or right on the Note application, you will get a notification to update it. Go ahead and do that and let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. If this video has been useful for you guys in any way, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new on the channel, do subscribe and become a part of Apex community. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.